Hey, hey, mommies. Welcome back. Hello, Lock Nation, Lock Queens. This video is important because we're in the middle of a epidemic, a global crisis. It is COVID season, as I call it. Today is Saturday, April the 4th. Um, I've noticed on a lot of YouTube, IG, social media, a lot of us are bored. So a lot of the, the queens who are thinking of a um, you know, do it yourself micro locks, or maybe we're thinking of getting them and now have the time. I want to make this video for you because you need it. And I want you to learn from my mistakes. So we are going to go through some of the biggest mistakes I made so that I can hopefully help you not make them and make your do it yourself experience turn out 10 times better than mine. I still love them, but there are some things that I personally did wrong that if you're gonna do this, you need to know them. So let's walk through them together. You guys subscribe, look at some of the other videos and see how okay, I So let's here. go straight in hot and heavy. The number one mistake that I made was underestimating the grid. Um, and you see it with new locks, you see it with fresh reties, and the more I see it, I'm like, ooh. Um, my grid is more perfect in the front of my hair not as perfect in the back. I probably should have used double mirrors. Um, I should have slowed down and taken my time. And one of the things that I realized, and this is very important if you have very thin and or fine hair, when you start to do them, my very first row was a part this way and I could only fit three because that's where my hair is the finest and the thinnest. And so I noticed that I started to make my parts closer together and in the end, instead of my grid looking like perfect little squares, they looked more like rectangles. But at the time that I was doing my hair, I felt like I wanted them closer together so that my hair did not appear as thin as it was. Wrong. This is something that as you're doing them, it's going to feel right and look right to make your parts closer together. But the the more you can get to a perfect square, even if the rows seem too far apart because your hair is so thin, it's okay. You have to just trust the process. That is literally what they mean because over time, as your locks mature, and it could take a year or two years, as they mature, your hair is gonna naturally thicken. So no matter how it looks or feels when you're doing it, and I know you're gonna wanna part right here, see the next part here, then this one's a little bigger. You're gonna wanna put them closer together in spots where your hair is thinner. Don't do that. Stick with the grid, watch a lot of videos. I've seen some perfect do-it-yourself grids and I'm like cringing my teeth with envy, but you'll also realize that even if you make that mistake, it's okay. You can only see an unperfect grid during a fresh retie. You're gonna to start to love um, the freedom of letting them grow out and having some of that natural texture at the root and not being able to see the grid at all. There's so much versatility in that. So it's not the end of the world, but if I could do it all over, I would have probably taken longer than um, the two days that I did it for sure. And also, if you go back and watch that video, I parted my hair in four sections. Some of the best grids that I've seen, both by do-it-yourself as well as by locticians, you're going to need at least eight grids, you know, two small in the back, two here, two here, four here. So I would have parted my hair if I had parted my hair in more sections to start. My grid would have been better. So do not underestimate the grid. Watch videos, follow some of the great, um, you know, IG hashtags and ladies that have done it themselves who have done it perfect. But if you make a mistake, guess what? When these babies start to grow every time between a retire, you're still gonna be in love with your hair. So don't stress out about it. Do not underestimate the grid. My biggest mistake thus far. Okay, so next thing I noticed and that I want to tell you is how to not get a knot in your locks. So there's two ways that I saw not. The first came from lazy retying um, when I should have stopped. The second came from the fact that these started out as twists um, and I've corrected most of them. So let me find 
let me find one to show you um, for the twist part. But when you're retying your hair, and I know you start to get really close to your scalp, if you can't pull it all the way through, and I mean really pull it all the way through, sometimes it, it hurts a little, um, and I try not to do mine that tight, but if you can't pull it all the way through, you're going to risk having a knot. So when it grows out, you'll have new growth, and then you'll have this little knot in your hair. Um, I have one good example that I haven't been able to fix, but it's right here. Let me see if you guys can see this. Um, that's a knot. It's one of the thinner ones. I wasn't able to pull it all the way through. It created a knot. I haven't fixed it yet because this is a thinner piece of hair. Most of this is curl. This should be the lock and I've got a little new growth. So I haven't repaired this. Let's take a look at it. The other type of knot that you can get will come from possibly, I guess, not wearing a scarf and your twist um, starting to flatten out or grow together. So this didn't come from the retie. This came from just the twist starting to mat together. Sometimes that has to do with the texture of your hair, um, but it's also going to tie into something I'm going to talk about later. I'm not going to tell you, but it has to do with what I figured out with palm rolling. So we'll get there, but this knot came from just me possibly laying down, not wrapping my hair, and the twist starting to... Um, just shrink together. So one quick way that you can fix it when it looks like this, because a lot of mine in the back, that's where my hair is that, um, you know, not proudly, but kind of that white, that white texture is, it's really, really fine, really, really soft. And it does that. But those are some of, this is definitely an example. This used to be super long. If I could pull this and stretch it out, you know, it, it gives me length, but in the back, they started to bunch together. So this is actually a better example, but it looks a little tougher. And it maybe comes from me not stretching them out, like I said, wearing a scarf, but I can't say it makes for bad dreads, but this is just a good example. So what you would need is, and I have several because I was, um, at one point I was making lock extensions. So I have several different sizes of these crochet hooks, um, but I was using this one specifically with some kinky hair to make um, extension, lock extensions for my husband at one point. So once I watched enough YouTube videos and figured out how to roll these bad boys around, but these also work for repairing um, locks or trying to tighten them up, putting them back in. So just being able to use this needle to kind of, you, I can't explain the process and I'm not gonna do a video on it right now, but just to, it's almost like a teasing process, but when you pull out the hair, you roll it around as if you're palm rolling it and you're basically using pieces of this hair to tighten where they have started to bunch. So like I said, I'm not doing a video on this, but if you see this, I may do one later, but there are tons on YouTube. That's um, If you look up how to make a lock extension and practice first, on just the, the teasing part of the needle and then taking what comes out and rolling it around to tighten up that dread. A lot of people do this for lock repair. I'm sorry, I keep calling it a dread. They do it for lock repair, but I will do it over time to tighten up. You see how fat that was to where I got it? To tighten it up, but I'm still very cautious about where my hair is thin. Um, these in the back, as I've said on some other videos, they don't have this curl pattern at the end anymore. They have really started to lock and I don't force that because I'm going to, I have so far enjoyed just letting them do what they do, but you see how I was able to tighten up that you can still see a little bit of the fat part, but I'll go back every so often and wrap that around. But it, it, um, you know, it showed a lot of shrinkage in the back, but the back is where I have some of the best locks. You see that? That's a twist, and you can see the gaps in that twist. So I don't use the, the kinky hair to, look at this one, okay? I don't use the kinky hair to go in and um, wrap it around, and I, I really don't want color in the bag, but you can buy this. I found this hair on um, Etsy from a young lady down in Florida. I don't have her name, I don't remember, but it's everywhere, guys. Um, the beauty supply stores are closed, so obviously, if you get on Amazon, I'm pretty sure you can find kinky afro hair. Vivica Fox has a brand that sells it, so it's harder to find in person, actually, than it is to just get online and buy it. But 
just me taking the time. I don't do it often. I usually do it when I wash it to go back in and fix these. And you see how I tighten that up? So you can get these. This is a the smallest. I cannot tell you what size. Like I said, if I could find that receipt, I would show you guys. But I have used this hook. And um, for some of the fatter locks, thicker locks, you can use these. I haven't even opened this set. So if you get a knot in your hair, don't worry about it. But try not to. With twists, really all I can tell you is tie your hair up. But I loved the freedom of not having to wrap my hair. I, I just lay down most nights and I really got to stop. So the other one that we found here, remember this one was from a retie where I couldn't pull it or didn't pull it all the way through, didn't notice it. And as it grew out, I just left that there. This can also be repaired using the same method. I might not get it perfect the first time, but I will, you know, tease that, that lump and roll it around over time so that it will consistently match but i don't want to thin this out too much so that's why i don't i kind of left it as is and i'll work with it as they go whatever you do if you get a retie knot so let's say there's a knot in your hair because when you retied it didn't quite go all the way through you didn't realize it and then you notice it later do not take a pair of scissors and try to cut that knot like if you see the knot here do not try to cut it because it was part of your retie, your entire lock will fall off. Yes, that happened to me. And I used a little bit of this hair because it matches almost the color that I have. And I took the end of that lock. I had about this much here. I had a lock this long. I stitched it back in. Now I have worked with it so much. I can't. It was on this side. Is it this one? It's this one. I can't tell which one it is, but I had to stop because even this one, you see where I stitched it in? It's kind of thick here. I don't want to thin this out. I don't want it to be too heavy. So I only work on it from time to time because when locks start thinning, you will have to stitch them. But at any point, if you, um, another reason, we're going to talk about color, staying your natural color, but if you can find this, I would get one pack of this for like, it's not a lot. Um, maybe $20. I'm not sure. I didn't pay that much for this one. Keep one that matches your hair because just a pinch of this will repair thinning locks. You can thicken it up. So I haven't, I'm bored, but I ain't that bored. It's not something that I want to do right now. I'm still just experimenting and learning. So do not get knots in your hair. So people who do braid locks probably don't have that second issue with the twist bunching together. So that may be a definite pro to look at doing braid locks versus twist locks. I'm not sure that was never an option on the table for me just due to the time of the do-it-yourself install. So I'm so bored. Let's take a quick look. I don't have a thousand subscribers. Real quick, subscribe. But let's get a word from our sponsors. Brighten skin tone just the right way without bleaching. Take a look at this before picture. Now take a look at this after picture. I started using Urban Skin RX based out of Charlotte for the Urban Skin RX Med Spa and I put it to the test. I bought a trial size 30 day package and tried to go for four weeks and see how my skin would be better. I'm so addicted now I have purchased a bathroom cabinet full of Urban Skin RX products. So follow them on IG, continue to follow me, and let's get even toned, better, clear skin every day. So let's fast forward and speed this up a little bit. We're gonna talk about both color and moisture together as mistakes I made so that you don't do them. So just in the last two weeks, I have realized um, I should have stayed natural 1B or even went to the point where I continued to use a natural black rinse over my hair. However, I was intent on testing the bleaching, testing a few, did it again. So a total of two times bleaching, did a pink rinse. There's videos on all this. So subscribe, go back and watch it. If I could do that over, I would have not bleached my hair. I've done it before. I should have not done it for two reasons. And it goes back to what I told you about the knots. Number one, I get a little lazy. This hairstyle has been the best for minimal effort. And my bleached tips are dry as ever. Part of that is because use the right type of moisture. But this is not the texture that I started with. 
The other part of that is wrapping my hair, just using your silk bonnet, putting something on your end. So look at this end, okay? And let's compare it to this end, which was never colored, which is the reason why I didn't color everything. Look at the two. So number one, I don't wear a scarf for either. Number two, bleach is harsh, harsh, harsh. And even if I was to put a black rinse over this, I'm not going to be able to get this to bounce back unless I am daily moisturizing my hair. I have loved the feedback so far. And this is what they all looked like when I started, y'all. So I jacked my own hair up by trying to go color. So here's the thing. Going color is bad. But if you're going to go color, don't be like me who was really you know, one of the reasons I chose this was to not have to do my hair. So if, you know, I love messing with it. I love doing it. I love the experimenting. I try a lot of products, but a lot of the feedback I've gotten um, and some of the products I've used, people say, no, 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 don't use that. So I get it. As a mom, I'm down with pure aloe vera from the leaf. There's a video on that. Aloe vera gel, olive, excuse me, olive oil, any kind of oils, but even my... My water bottle with oil, rice water. I don't come in my bathroom every night and spray my hair down and put my bonnet or my scarf or my do-rag on like I'm supposed to. I didn't do it last night. I usually do it in the morning and I need to do it more. I'm not saying I got to saturate it, but I got to keep the moisture. I need to, even if you're using product and you're not using natural ingredients, there's no reason why my ends should look like that. I did that to myself. So what I would say is in um, April 4th, that's my five month um, lock anniversary. I started October 4th. So I did a lot in five months, but if I could take it back, these, these two aren't so bad. I would have left it alone. You see that curl? I miss, I miss that curl. This curl and this curl don't even look like they cousins let alone sister and brother on the same head. Like they don't even look nothing like that's my own fault. So know, know who you are, know what intensity level you are on hair care. And I know when you first get up, you're so excited. So I did everything, everything, everything. But as time went on, I was like, shoot, you know, these, these things taking care of themselves, they're really not. You still need to do the bare minimum which is moisturize your hair um, and me just co-washing it. I've even slowed down on that. I used to do that um, once every other week and haven't done it, leave in conditioner. So, but this takes daily conditioning. And if you're going to dye it any color, don't be like me. So I, if, 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 if I could do it over, I probably would have still colored later, but I probably would have waited a year. And I think that I could have gotten, you know, I love the texture, but I don't, you know, some of this is jacked up and I just got to fix it. So I can fix it. Hopefully you guys will subscribe. Keep watching me. I'm going to do better now that I don't have to get up and go to work. There's no reason why I can't put aloe on my hair, you know, aloe, rice water, oil, spray bottle. There's no reason I can't do that every night, just a little bit on the ends and wrap my hair up. There's no reason that I should be just tossing myself in the bed i left the door open i've been rolling around on, on not satin pillows just whatever so don't don't be me don't do that and if you can help it i'm not saying don't color because when you see some of these girls on ig and it's red and blonde it, it's so beautiful but only do that if you're ready for the upkeep that comes with it and do your research on and try out what products work best for you. If, if I can inspire you to do anything else, I did not start as a YouTuber and now I'm at over 500 subscribers. Now I'm motivated, I'm consistent. So just this alone helped me to record and document this journey. So I'm not gonna be the best do-it-yourselfer up here, but I'm always gonna review products. I love hair and skincare and I'm gonna tell you the truth. But those, that's pretty much it, guys. Those are my big mistakes are, you know, um, just not doing my grid right, um, getting knots in my hair and not knowing what to do, not having an expert to go to. So that's the issue with do it yourself, but you know, still finding a way to fix it, but I wish I hadn't done it. Um, putting color in too soon, maybe too much, and then not being consistent with 
moisturizing and uh, wrapping my hair. And I'm, I'm still not a person that I haven't even started to dive into styles and roller sets and buns and you know I'm right now there's not even a need to but I haven't even started doing all of that let me get my moisture right first but moisture 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 if you can use all natural or you find the right balance of products for you um, a lot of people if you go back and watch the videos read the comments um, some of the stuff I was using on my boys hair and I get it don't use beeswax don't use um, you know some of those things that are made for locks for you because they are too heavy. If you can stay natural, I'm going to put some links below, support Amazon affiliates and get as many of the natural oils that you can get you some empty spray bottles and even get the, um, the empty like squeeze out bottles. I have a few, so I'll put links for all that stuff. Find your own good concoction. Um, you know, and then maybe if I do a style, yes, then use mousse, then use curl pudding, then use some of that other stuff for hold. But those so far are the mistakes. So while you're sitting in the house like me bored and you're saying, I'm going to do this, this video is telling you what not to do. But guess what? Despite my mistakes, they're not regrets. They are just that. They're mistakes. I don't regret this. Um, it's going to get better. Um, my husband tells me all the time, patience, patience, patience. Of course, I want that drop. I want that length. I hate the shrinkage. Um, it's patience. It's um, just trust in the process. And everybody will show you how to do it. It looks great. Not a lot of people are going to come show you their mess and tell you what not to do. But these are the mistakes I don't want you to make. Subscribe. Let's get to 1K so I can go live. Support me. Follow me on IG. And I will put all of the ladies that I featured with permission in this video so that you can follow them as well because there are tons of better videos. But I love you guys. Thanks for supporting. Stay locked up. Stay safe and healthy. And let's pray each other through this situation. See you guys later.